Uh, now, as I mentioned in the polls, uh, Stephen, of course, fellow data nerd like myself, um, the trend is is also just is is not just over time, but it's also across the series of polls. We now have everything from News Poll, Morgan, Freshwater, Turnbull Times, Essential, all the rest of it, right? That is showing that whatever was achieved. Uh, in the first couple of months is all now returning to where it was towards the end of last year. Now, does this not speak to what you and I spoke about at the time, which was a, a, a finding from those polls that whatever supposed benefits of, in my view, too little, too late tax cuts, the majority of Australians didn't know. They weren't coming in till uh, July the 1st. So there was a lovely sort of fit of political this, that and the other when it came to Dunkley. But the reality is anyone who thinks the government is wildly in a better place than they were at the end of last year, they, 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 they're not really looking looking, are they? No, look, I think all of the polls, no matter who's commissioned them, what you think of them, are all roughly settling into the same core Labor Liberal primary vote. So Labor's probably between 31 and 33, Liberal Coalition between 37 and 40. Uh, I would think Labor will be disappointed by that. I think Labor's very focused on the budget and uh, I think you'll see a range of measures on, you know, cost of living. You know, you'll see a budget surplus. I think that's no secret. I've broken Jim's heart again by mentioning it in public. But I think there'll be a second budget surplus, which is at a macroeconomic level, is a positive. We'll, we'll see uh, pressure taken off inflation because of that. And I think the Australian economy is a little sluggish still, though. So I'd, I'm not forecasting some boom that's coming for the government. But I think the economic headwind, uh, tailwinds will be behind the government going into the second half of the year off the back of the budget. Yeah. They've got to continue to sell their message. Yeah, They've got to continue to demonstrate that they're managing the economy. But, you know, you'd have to say Labor should be concerned that their primary vote is in that low 30s. Now, I'm taking time away from Frank Carboni, so I, I apologise, mate. But, uh, but, but Nicole, um, if they post a, pub, a, a surplus but don't cut petrol tax and your petrol is $2.33 a litre, um, I can see what the political impact will be the day after the budget. Yeah, precisely. And cost of living, I just, I sincerely hope for the good of the Australian people that Stephen Conroy is right and that cost of living goes down. But I just cannot see how that's going to happen under this Albanese Labor government. Mm. People are hurting, you know, migration is hurting them, housing is hurting them, detainees running right in the community is worrying them and they're concerned about law and order. So mm. I, uh, I just cannot see, Labor has not shifted the dial on this in, in the past six to 12 months, and I don't think that they will. Yeah, all right. Thank you, guys. Do appreciate it.